What the heck is that smell? Hi, welcome to Click to Clean. My name is Kyle Casper. My background is cleaning and restoration. If you watch some of my other videos, we've noticed chlorine dioxide. It's a new and revolutionary process that works by oxidizing microorganisms. It's very effective for sanitizing and deodorization. Now today we're gonna to focus on deodorizing hotel rooms. You're gonna come across a wide variety of odors, specifically musty odors. So we're gonna show you a really simple way on how to remove that with chlorine dioxide, and I'll see you back here in a bit. When dealing with hotels, you're gonna come across a lot of musty odors. This happens because people shower in the bathroom and they walk out and they track water onto the carpet. Over time, this can become musty, especially if they're renting them quickly, they don't have time to dry it, and you're left with a musty smell. Secondly, air conditioning units will drip sometimes, and if they're not properly maintained, they'll also create a musty smell on the carpet. That's where you come in. If you really want to find the moisture quickly, try using an infrared camera. This typically detects hot and cold areas. Colder areas are usually moisture. If you find some cool areas, check with your moisture meter to see if it's elevated. If it is elevated, go ahead and begin the drying process using air movers or dehumidification. Once you have determined that the areas are dry, now it's time to begin the deodorization process. The first step is taping off any adjoining doorways. This will prevent the smell of chlorine dioxide from entering the other units. Next, remove all linens, pillowcases, towels, and bedspreads from the unit. Now it's time for the CLO2 setup. Now we're going to assume there's two sources of odor in this hotel room. Place two five-gallon buckets upside down. The reason we do this is to prevent any kind of spillage or color loss on the carpet. Be sure to remove the filter from the AC unit and turn the AC unit on air circulation only. Remove the four ounce container and fill it with cold water. Dump this into the eight ounce container included with your kit. Place your aerator tube in the container and go ahead and put on your full face respirator. Take your 20 gram tablet, remove it from the package and drop it in the container. Your last step is gonna be turning on the aerator for each container. Before you exit the unit, pull off the gas mask so people do not see you wearing it in the hallway. Exit the unit. The air out process is very simple. Simply enter the unit. If there is any remaining chlorine dioxide smell, have an air mover blowing the air out into the hallway. Dispose of your liquid, remove the aerators, open up the windows and let the unit air out. For continuous deodorization, use the AirFresh 101 packets. These are very good for ongoing odor problems. These will treat around 300 square feet and will last around 40 days. Simply attach some double-sided tape and stick these on the wall or in the area where the odor tends to be the strongest. And now this unit will have a fresh, clean smell for the next 40 days. So as you see from the following clips, it's a very simple process. Now if you come across extreme odors such as decomposition or mold or something more along those lines, you may have to use a 100 gram or even a 500 gram kit. You can watch how to do that in the curry video, which I had previously. Now, if you have additional questions on chlorine dioxide or even some of the equipment you saw in the video, please email me. I'll put that in the description below. Now, in the next video, we're really going to focus on AirFresh 101 and the benefits that it provides you in long-term deodorization. So thank you for watching. Again, I'm Kyle Casper. You've been watching Click to Clean. I'll see you in the next video.